Hello and welcome to episode 36 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how you can use Evernote to track your employee review or evaluation for this year. Now, what I mean by this is most people who work for large organizations have to have or do partake in an employee review or an evaluation at the end of every year. And now is about the time of the year where your manager will probably be going through your review of the year and looking at areas that you can improve on your performance for next year. Now, a lot of people, um, when they do this, they just get their printed out sheet after the meeting um, and the action plan that you have agreed with your manager. Now, that's very good, but I remember from back in the day when I used to work for um, an organization and that sheet of paper would be on my desk for a few days, then I would file it and I would probably never look at it again. Now, what you can do, however, is you can actually use Evernote to track your improvement over the next year. Now, there are many things you can do. Now, if I was doing this personally, I would actually use Evernote to sketch out my ideas. And if you remember from <coughs> my planning review, um, these are the things like from planning, I would actually create something a little bit more substantial like in this format. However, for an employee review, let's just imagine that you've picked out five things that you and your manager have agreed to improve for the next year. So we've got improved deadline meeting standards, increased number of customer meetings by 10%, build better relationships with other departments, increase teams productivity, and implement a French language course for team members. Now, the thing about these is these are, these are themselves really, most of them are actually going to be projects. And what you're going to have to do is figure out what sort of, um, tasks that you can create that are going to remind you what to do. So improve deadline meeting standards. Now let's say that you have missed a few deadlines with projects over the year and your manager wants you to improve those. What I would do is planning this out is I would go into the meet note like this and then I would tab and then create a few ideas of what I can do to create uh, a better system. So for example, um, look into actually that's not a very good verb to start um, plan a better actually so I'm doing this live and you can see how my thought processes are working so investigate actually I'm not even going to use the word investigate I'm going to go research better ways of um, meeting deadlines consistently um, and then I would go implement new system so you get the idea is I mean this is I would probably fill out this a lot more detailed uh, if I was to create this now what I like to do is because I, I'm very much a visual person I would like to bold that one to say that I've already started looking at that now increased number of customer meetings by 10% that was actually going to be easy um, find out how many meetings Ooh, we're writing in Korean now <laughs> let's just get that back to English um, find out how many times I meet customers per week increase that number by 10% I'm going to go for 12% just in case we have a problem and, and so on like that. So uh, that was like an easy one to do. Um, but you're getting the idea of how I would actually develop this. But this is why Evernote is such a really good tool to have with you. And it's it's so much, it's it, the money that you have to pay per year is just, the value you get out of it is just, it's a no-brainer to me, even if you use the most basic format. But what it means is you have, you've started this employee evaluation now. Uh, you've started planning it and let's say as we are okay we're in the middle of December now but if you were doing this a few weeks ago you've got plenty of time to add ideas to this as and when you go through it and if it's on your phone if it's on your laptop a desktop tablet whatever you have this this note with you everywhere you go and as you get ideas 
you can actually start adding them to it. So you can see how you can develop your employee review so that you can consistently uh, consistently improve your performance next year. Now, the key to this is to look for recurring tasks. Uh, this is what I would do. Now, increase that number by 10%. This is, this is an easy one to do because let's say I have 20 meetings. Let's say I have 20 meetings every... On average, I've had 20 meetings with customers every week. So what I would do is, okay, that needs to increase to 22 meetings minimum. I would be looking for 25 because that's a nice number. And I would break that down into days. So, for example, uh, 21, that's three, meet three customers a day. And that's presumably I'm a salesperson. That's going to give me 21. And so I would probably say meet four customers per day. And that's going to give me the number that I really need. Um, so this is the way that you can work out this one. And it's just a build. It's just a really, really good way of being able to see what you need to do to meet your targets and at the end of the year, if you keep this note in Evernote, you can produce it to show your manager that you have actually achieved all the targets that they set for you. So this is something that a lot of people don't do. And by the end of January, they've completely forgotten about what they promised or what they agreed to do with their manager. But by using Evernote to manage your performance and your productivity throughout the year, then you're going, you're going to have a record to be able to show your manager exactly what you have achieved throughout the year. Um, just before we finish this episode, I've got here implement a French language course for team members. This is very good because this is a really good example. So this is a project that you've agreed to do with your manager. So research um, French French courses. So you do what we were doing in the product uh, um natural planning method, you would just go through all your ideas underneath this particular task until you've got all the tasks out. You can then transfer them into your, um, you can transfer them into your uh, to-do list manager if you're using one, or you can just keep this in Evernote. And what you can do is just click on that and then change that into, this is changing it all into, sorry. Uh, you can then create like, to. you can then create tasks from that particular project. So you can see how you can develop this and make sure that you've got a permanent record of what you have achieved throughout the year. Okay, hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully it stimulated some ideas of how you can use Evernote to improve your uh, performance at work next year. Of course, if you have any questions at all or you have any requests for me to cover anything within Evernote, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos as and when I post them. Okay, so I wish you all a very, very productive week, and I will see you in the next episode.